Hello and good morning everyone. This is a tutorial series on using the image processing toolbox of MATLAB. Let us start right away. Let us read the image color.jpg. You do that using the imread function. And now uh, your image is stored in A and you can see its size is 426 by 640. Uh, that's the resolution and by 3 shows that it has 3 layers R, G and B. And you can see the image by clicking on the variable and going to plots and saying I am show. Or you can use I am tool or any other functions there. Uh, or you can also open it by using uh, I am tool uh, by just typing in I am tool in the command window. So here's your, here's your image. Um, you could use uh, the measure distance tool here to measure the distance if you want to find the diameter of your ball. It's, it's 96, it's 96 and you can do like that. And uh, this is called the inspect pixel values. And this can be used to, um, let me show you. So you have two windows here and what is shown in the second window is what's inside the small rectangle here. So now if you move this rectangle around, you can see the pixel values on the right are also moving. So uh, you can use this tool if you wanna find the pixel values of a neighborhood and it's it's just easy to analyze using this tool okay let's let's get into the next thing i am show of a so this is our image let us try to uh, try to crop crop this image from here to uh, from this point to this point maybe so for that we use the function b equal to i am crop of a comma x1 y1 and size x size y so this would be x1, y1, which is 159, 163. And this point is 492, 362, 492, 3, oops, 362. But you have to type in the size. So let's just subtract 159 and 163. So yeah, let's see B now. And this is B, uh, uh, the image is cropped. Next, let us try to resize the image. And you can do it by uh, using the function resize of A comma, let's scale it down 0.5 times. So I am show of C, so it's now smaller, it's resized. And you can also rotate it by using the function I am rotate of A comma, maybe 75 degree, yeah. And it would look like this. Now, if you want to display all these images and compare at the same time, you have to use this function: subplot of two comma two, which means that you would see them in a two by two grid. And the first image would be uh, A. So that's it. And let us just paste this. And I want the second image to be B the ter uh, third image to be C and the fourth image to be D. Let's see how this looks. So here, yeah, you, here you have it. You have all the images. Okay. Now, uh, let's, uh, now after applying some operations on, on, uh, on the image A, you got D, right? If you want to save the, uh, save this on your hard disk, you could use the function I am right of D comma, I want to save it as target.png and it's of the format PNG. Uh, it's generally better to use PNG than JPEG because JPEG is lossy format and PNG is lossless. And uh, so here you can see it on your on my hard disk you can see target so it's sa saved here. Okay and then if you want to clear all your command window all the stuff you use CLC. And if you have to clear your workspace, what you use is clear all. And if you have multiple windows open in MATLAB, like uh, you did a multiple, uh, you did IM tool multiple times, you have many windows open. At that time, you could use IM, uh, you could use close all to close all those windows. Okay. Now uh, let's let's look at uh, look at something else now. Let us load the image keyboard. Keyboard dot png so i am show of a 
you can see that um, the image is not so clear and you know it, it could look better okay so you can you can plot the histogram by using the function i am hist of a so this is the histogram and for those who don't know histogram is uh, in your image you have pixel values uh, pixel intensities from 0 to 255 that is the x-axis and this is the frequency so this at 6000 shows that there are 6000 um, the 6000 pixels of intensity 0 and then about 6000 of uh, so it's like that about 7000 of pixel uh, of pixel intensity 1 and here of pixel intensity 9 we have about 5600 if you, that's here so that's how it is uh, so that's the histogram now let us try to enhance the image by using im adjust of a and let's see how it looks and as you can see it looks better and and yeah there's another function that you can use is histogram equalization i'm not gonna go deeper into how these functions work actually you can read them up online but uh, i just want to give you the general idea so now let us try to plot uh, all of them next to each other uh, so that we can compare show of a i will copy this again paste it three times the second window would be b and the third window would be c so yeah here's how it looks now um, you cannot find out what's in the dark uh, what's in in the dark here it's really hard but this image it's more clear this uh, the right side image is better and this image is even better so uh, there are various functions and you can find all those functions in the help in MATLAB so go to image processing toolbox and you have all your functions here if you want to go into image enhancement contrast adjustment uh, i am adjust is what i used and histogram equalization show there are so many functions and you can just try them out and that's it for this video and we are going to do something exciting in the next video we are going to filter out uh, an object based on its color so stay tuned